Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on breadth first search technique. It is already discussed in the previous videos. So now in this video, we have to solve another example problem. It is one of the most important concept in three courses. One is the data structures and second one is the discrete mathematics. And third one is design and analysis of algorithms. Okay. Now, this is the given graph. For this given graph, we have to find out the BFS spanning tree. Okay. So, in that, in that graph, there are 10 vertices are there. How these 10 vertices are visited exactly once by using BFS technique. To implement BFS technique on that graph, we have to use Q data structure. This is the Q data structure. What is the size of the Q we have to take in? The size of a Q is equals to the number of vertices in a given graph. So there are 10 vertices are there in the given graph. So we have to take size of the Q is equal to 10. Okay, so now how these vertices are visited? Okay, this is the corresponding algorithm. By using this algorithm, how these 10 vertices are visited using BFS technique. Okay, first one. So among the 10 vertices, we have to select any vertex as starting vertex. Okay. Generally, we have to take the starting vertex is 1. Okay. So, step 1, visit the starting vertex and make it as visited. So, I am selecting vertex 1 as starting vertex. Now, this vertex is visited. So, visited means I am uh, writing with the red color. This vertex 1 is filled with the red color. Okay. Next one is uh, display the vertex. Whatever the vertex that we are select as a starting vertex, that vertex is visited and this vertex is displayed. In the display, we have to write vertex 1. Okay. Next one, set a pointer to the starting vertex. So, this is the starting vertex. We have to set a pointer to the starting vertex. Now, we go for step 2. If the currently starting vertex has adjacent any unvisited vertices are there. Okay. So, for vertex 1, what are the adjacent vertices? Vertex 4 and vertex 2. So, these two vertices are not visited. Only vertex 1 is visited. So, these two vertices are not visited. So, now, if currently working vertex that is vertex 1 has adjacent unvisited vertices that is vertex 4 and vertex 2. Okay, so this condition is true. Vertex 2 has adjacent unvisited vertices 4 and 2. Whenever this condition is true, then these three statements are executed. Visit the adjacent unvisited vertices and make it as visited. So among the two vertices, we have to select either four vertex is visited or two vertex is visited. You can take any vertex, no problem. I am taking vertex four is visited. Vertex four is visited and make it as visited. Insert into a queue. So now vertex four is visited into a queue. So queue in this, we have to follow this direction from uh, right to left direction. We have insert vertex 4 into the queue and display it. And display it is 4. Okay. So, BFS spanning tree starts with vertex 1. Okay. Among the, uh, now vertex 1, what are the adjacent vertices? 4 and 2. So, among the 4 and 2 vertices, I am selecting vertex 4. Okay, next one. 
after displaying it after displaying it so we do not go to else part repeat step 2 until q is empty here q is empty no q is not empty it contains vertex 4 okay so then go to step 2 next if the currently working vertex has adjacent unvisited vertex s vertex 1 has two adjacent vertices 4 and 2 among the 4 and 2 4 already visited but 2 is not visited so vertex 1 has unvisited vertex 2 okay so this condition is true again these three statements are executed visit the adjacent unvisited vertex and make it as visited now this vertex is a visited insert into a queue insert into a queue display it so now display the vertex 2 so now vertex 1 has another adjacent vertex that is vertex 2 okay after displaying the after performing these three steps then we go to this step repeat step 2 until q is empty so q is not empty so that go to perform step 2 okay next if the currently working vertex has adjacent unvisited vertices so vertex 1 has two adjacent vertices vertex 4 and vertex 2 both are visited there is no vertex is adjacent for vertex 1 other than 4 and 2 so now this condition is false because vertex 1 has only 4 and 2 adjacent vertices both are visited there is no vertex that is adjacent to one that is unvisited so this condition is false go to else part update the pointer to the first element of the queue so in the first in the first element of the queue is four so now update the pointer to vertex four first element in the queue that is four update the pointer from vertex 1 to vertex 4 remove the first element from the queue so now remove the first element from the queue okay next repeat step 2 until queue is empty queue is not empty so that repeat step 2 if currently working vertex has adjacent unvisited vertex yes vertex 2 has four adjacent vertices that is 3 5, 7, 8. 3, 5, 7, 8. Okay. These four vertices are not visited. So now this condition is true. Vertex 2 is the currently working vertex. Now, if the currently working vertex is 4, has adjacent unvisited vertices, here 1 and 3 are adjacent vertices, among the 1 and 3, 1 is already visited, so 3 is unvisited. So, the currently working vertex 4 has adjacent unvisited vertex, that is 3. So, condition is true, so these 3 statements are executed. Visit the adjacent unvisited vertex that is a uh, 3 so that can be visited. Visited insert into a queue insert into a queue and display it and display it. So now 4 adjacent is 3. Okay. After performing these three steps, go to this one. Repeat step two until Q is empty. Q is not empty. So that we can go to step two. Next one. If the currently working vertex has adjacent unvisited vertex. So vertex four is currently working vertex. It has adjacent vertices are vertex one and vertex three. Both are visited. There is no vertex that is not visited adjacent to vertex 4. 
okay so that this condition is false vertex 4 has adjacent unvisited vertices there are no vertices that are unvisited vertices adjacent to currently working vertex 4 so now this condition is false then goes to else part update the pointer to the first element of the queue so update the pointer to the first element of the queue is 2 so now go to this one remove the first element from the queue so remove the first element from the queue is 2 okay then go to next step repeat step 2 until queue is empty here queue is not empty so that uh, we can go to step 2 so now currently working vertex is 2 now currently working vertex is 2 this vertex 2 has any unvisited adjacent vertices are there yes 3 is there 1 is there 5 is there 7 is there 8 is there among that one 1 and 3 are already visited and the remaining three vertices 5 7 8 are unvisited okay so now this condition is true currently working vertex has three adjacent unvisited vertices that is 5 7 8 so among them we have to take 5 so if this condition is true we can go to these three steps visit the adjacent unvisited vertex and make it as visited this is unvisited vertex we can make it as a visited insert into a queue insert into a queue display it so display it so two adjacent is fine two adjacent is fine next so we can go to this step repeat step two until queue is empty so here queue is not empty so that we can perform again step two now currently working vertex is 2 this 2 has any unvisited vertices as yes, 7 and 8 are unvisited vertices so this condition is true then go to uh, inner inner block of if so that these three steps are performed among the two vertices we have to visit this adjacent vertex at adjacent unvisited vertex and make it as visited insert into a queue so now 7 is inserted into a queue display it display it again we have to take two adjacent vertex is 7 okay next one display it okay after performing these three steps we can go to this step repeat step 2 until q is empty q is not empty so that repeat step 2 now currently working vertex 2 has any unvisited vertex yes 8 is the unvisited adjacent vertex so that this condition is true go to if block it contains three statements these three statements are executed visit the adjacent unvisited vertex and make it as visited insert into a queue display it display it and we have to write vertex h that is adjacent to 2 next after performing these three steps you can go to this step repeat step 2 until q is empty q is not empty so that repeat step 2 now this currently working vertex 2 has any unvisited adjacent vertices so 1 already visited 3 already visited 5 already visited 7 is already visited 8 is already visited so there are no unvisited adjacent vertices for currently working vertex 2 so that this condition is false go to else part update update the pointer to the first element of the queue so first element of the queue is 3 so update the pointer from vertex 2 to vertex 3 remove the first element from the queue so remove the first element that is 3 it is removed from the queue 
Okay. Next one. Repeat step two until Q is empty. Q is not empty, so that perform step two. Okay. Now the currently working vertex has three. Three. Three has any unvisited adjacent vertices are there? So what are the adjacent vertices for three? Four, two, ten, nine. Among the four vertices, vertex four and vertex two are visited. But ten and nine are unvisited vertices. So the currently working vertex has adjacent unvisited vertices ten and nine. So this condition is true. If this condition is true, these three steps are performed. Visit the adjacent unvisited vertex and make it as visited. We have to take vertex ten that is to be visited. So insert into a queue. So ten is inserted into a queue. Display it. So ten is displayed. Okay. After performing these three steps, go to repeat step two until queue is empty. Queue is not empty. So that perform step two. So the currently working vertex three has unvisited vertex that is nine. So that this condition is true. Again, these three steps are performed. Visit the unvisited adjacent vertex nine and make it as visited. Next, insert into a queue. Display it. Display it is nine. Okay. So that is three has ten and three has nine. Okay. Three adjacent are ten and nine. So after that, repeat step two until Q is empty. Q is not empty, so that uh, go to step two. Next one. If the currently working vertex has adjacent unvisited vertices, vertex three has adjacent vertices four, two, ten, nine. Okay, all are visited. So there is no unvisited vertex adjacent to vertex three. So now this condition is false. Go to the else part. Update the pointer to the first element of the queue. First element of the queue is five, so that update the pointer to the first element of the queue. Remove the first element from the queue, so five can be removed from the queue. Okay. Next one. Repeat step two until queue is empty. So queue is not empty, so that go to step two. Now the currently working vertex is five. Five has adjacent vertices are six, seven, eight, two. Among them, so seven, eight, two are visited. Only unvisited vertex is six. So five has adjacent unvisited vertex that is six. So now this condition is true. Perform these three steps. Visit the adjacent unvisited vertex six and make it as visited. Insert into a queue. Display it. So six is a display and uh, five adjacent as six. Okay. Next, after performing these three steps, we can go to this step. Repeat step two until queue is empty. So queue is not empty. So that perform step two. Now the currently working vertex has adjacent unvisited vertices. So five adjacent are two, eight, seven, six. Okay, all vertices are visited that are adjacent to vertex five. There is no vertex. There is no vertex is not there as a unvisited vertex adjacent to vertex five. So currently working vertex 5 has no adjacent unvisited vertex because all are visited so that uh, we can go to the else part update the pointer to the first element of the queue first element of the queue is 7 so that update the pointer to the first element of the queue and remove the first element from the queue remove the first element from the queue okay next Repeat step two until Q is empty. Q is not empty, so repeat step two. Now the currently working vertex is a seven. It has any adjacent unvisited vertices, so there are no vertices that are adjacent as a that are adjacent as unvisited vertices because 
Vertex 7 has adjacent vertices 8, 5, 2. All are visited. But there is no vertex that is not uh, visited adjacent to vertex 7. So, this condition is false. So, then go to the else part. Update the pointer to the first element of the queue. That is 8. So, now it then goes to 8. Okay. And remove the first element from the queue. Remove the first element from the queue. Okay. Next, after performing these steps, repeat step 2 until queue is empty. So, queue is not empty. So, repeat step 2. Now, the currently working vertex has 8. So, it has no unvisited vertices that are adjacent. So, 8 adjacent are 2, 5, 7. All are visited. But there is no vertex as an unvisited vertex adjacent to vertex 8. Okay. So, this condition is false. Then go to the else part. Update the pointer to the first element of the queue. So, pointer can be set to vertex 10. That is the first element of the queue. Remove the first element from the queue. So, this is the first element of the queue is 10. Okay. Next one. After performing these two steps, go to this one. Repeat step 2 until Q is empty. So, Q is empty. Q is not empty because 6 and 9 are there. Then go to perform step 2. Now, the currently working vertex is a 10. 10 has no unvisited. 10 vertex 10 has adjacent unvisited vertices. So, there are only vertex 3 is there that is already visited but there are no adjacent unvisited vertices for vertex 10. Okay. Now this condition is a false. Then go to the else part. Update the pointer to the first element of the queue. First element of the queue is 9. So update the pointer and remove the first element that is 9 that is removed from the queue. Okay. Next, repeat step 2 until Q is empty. Yes, Q, Q contains only one element so that Q is not empty. So that repeat step 2. Now the currently working vertex is a 9. So it has no unvisited adjacent vertices. So this condition is false. Then go to the else part. Update the pointer to the first element of the Q. That is a 6. 6. Remove the first element from the queue. So, remove the first element from the queue. Now, repeat step 2 until queue is empty. So, so queue is empty but there are no elements are there in the queue. All are uh, removed from the queue. Okay. So, now uh, queue is empty so that we have to stop the procedure. Okay. So, this is the BFS spanning tree and in this order we have to visit all the vertices 1, 4, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, uh, 10, 9, 6. Okay. This is the order we have to follow. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, Please subscribe my channel link. So, Divella Srinivasarao. Thank you.